So we basically um, got data of daily counts of mortality and daily temperature for each of the city uh, for a historical period between 1987 to 2000. And we found the relationship between daily temperature and daily counts of mortality through some statistical models. And for each of these cities, then we um, project um, the daily temperature in each of these worlds. So in a three degree warmer world, in a two degree warmer world, and a one and a half degree warmer world. So in each of them, we can then um, calculate um, the uh, amount of heat related mortality expected in each of these worlds for each of the city, um, assuming that the population is the same in all of these worlds. Um, so our main finding is basically um, for uh, most of our study cities, um, the, um, if we mitigate more, so if we increase our climate action to meet the two degree target, then um, fewer people will die from heat. And, but this level of mortality, so the heat related mortality would be substantially even lower if we mitigate to the one and a half degree um, warming. So uh, meeting the Paris, Paris Agreement targets, especially the one and a half degree target, um, would be substantially beneficial to um, the population in the United States. We did a simple study and it's more like an event attribution study where you have a factual world and a counterfactual world and the only difference between these two worlds is the thing that you're interested in. So we have different worlds of warming and the difference in all of these worlds is just the, you know, the, the global mean temperature in our study. So we've kept, um, we've assumed no adaptation, we've kept the population to be the same, we've kept the relationship between mortality and temperature to be the same. So that's um, the only difference between these worlds with the temperature. So we're not asking, so we know there are many factors that will affect um, future level of mortality and temperature related mortality. But we're asking the question of how um, global mean temperature rise, that the level of global mean temperature rise or difference uh, would affect mortality and only this factor.